It sounds like we are getting some lightning. Snow is finally melting. And now we're getting a bunch of hail. Those are some big pieces too, holy moly. I am so sick of winter. I mean, it's pretty cool. I haven't seen hail, hail this big in a long time. Interesting how that's shaped. It's like a Hershey's Kiss. This one. Ice falling from the sky. All right, you guys, we are finally out of this, the snowy weather. Happy to see the rain. It's actually been a couple weeks since that hail storm, and we still have a little bit of snow hanging out. That's crazy to me because it's so warm out right now. It's been raining for a little while. Last bit of snow. That was nuts. That was a lot of snow. We've started work on old patches. As soon as the rain stops, I'm gonna put the floor in and get the doors in. I was going to build another two of these square frames so I can lay out the tarp over them and have a large covered area. But uh, thinking it over, I just didn't really feel I had the time for that. All I need to do is paint the RV and then I don't really even need to worry about it. See, so yeah, I don't know, I'll share a little snippet of that. I have did start on it, took the floor from the RV and scrapped it, cut it down and Organize the pieces and yeah I was just thinking that's gonna take too much time I'll just wait for the next break in the rain it was just been too much work I can't just droop the tarp over a couple stands without bracing them up somehow or else they'll just lean over and fall onto the RV so it was a bit more work involved with that than I was hoping so I'll probably pick that up later I'd like to make it so it all unbolts I have some parts where it separates Make some sleeves, get some, uh, make it so it can break down into lengths that I can put on the back of the RV or something. And that would be cool. And I have a little portable shop. I was actually kind of getting excited with that idea, but I am. Well, I wouldn't have had time to finish it. The rain was coming pretty quick. So that will be an idea for later. Got the shop area cleaned up super good. So I can start framing out some doors for the RV. Brought the diesel heater in. I'm not getting down to freezing temperatures anymore. It's actually quite nice lately. Still a little cold. Still in my hoodie. Still uh, having to keep the heater on at night. But no more freezing winter weather. No more snow. I guess I'll have to get used to that if I go to Montana. Steel scrap all organized. Ready to make a couple doors. And that I can do in here while it's raining. And that was another thought why I paused the whole portable shop idea. Though I really want to do that. That's just going to take a lot more work than I'd like than I was thinking. But I think the portable shop idea is freaking awesome because if I ever go get property out in Arizona, that would be a good starter for a place to work out of the sun and wind and dust. Uh, I was this close to buying property down in Arizona because uh, oh, I was like 400 bucks down and only 100 bucks a month. I was like, yeah, I could actually probably do that. 
but it is twice the distance than it is to Montana, and I like Montana's um, politics are a whole lot better. Montana just doesn't have any cheap property owner finance land for a hundred bucks a month. I really, I might just do it anyway, just so I can get the property and uh, just have it. And then I can go down there during winter and get away from the snow, but I just can't afford it. I can't afford anything right now. hundred bucks a month is, I got insurance on Jimmy for 60 bucks a month and that's already kind of made things really tight. I've got two days left till payday and I'm just, Almost all out of food. I'd be going shopping right now if it weren't for everything being so, uh, kind of doing this paycheck to paycheck thing. Probably going to spend that five bucks and put uh, Jimmy up on the Craigslist, get him sold. eBay is like $80. Five bucks on Craigslist will give you a month to get that sold. And for eBay, um, is like 80 bucks for a month. Okay, they do have a basic package for $19 that lets you do the fixed price format, is what they call that. You can either do an auction or a fixed price. Um, but that is only seven days, and that is really not worth it, in my opinion. I could see an ad staying up for seven days easily and not selling. I feel like that would just be like throwing 20 bucks away. 50 bucks, that will get you a fixed price up to 30 days. No way I'm paying that. I'll pay the five bucks on Craigslist and try my luck there first. And more of a chance to sell it locally as well. And that's your $80 package. Just kind of, yeah, no, no thanks. Uh, anyway, I don't want to do an auction. Um, I did a little research and I hear that's just not really worth it. So Craigslist, yeah, five bucks. Ad stays up for 30 days. That's not actually, that is actually not a bad deal. So, yeah, I gotta sell the GMC, which is a huge, kind of a huge bummer, but I don't have a choice. So, I mean, it's, it's become a huge burden to me too, trying to f think about where I'm gonna store extra trucks and RV and I just can't handle having any more stuff with me. Truck needs to get sold and I need to focus on the RV and have just one vehicle again. It's, Stresses me out. Jimmy needs a lot of dang work, and so does Patches. I can't, I don't have enough time or enough nice weather. Maybe later this summer I will build that portable shop idea. Hobo Mansion. It's gonna look like a big old tarp box. But yeah, we'll save that for later. Flooring next, then the doors. Organizing some of my stuff here old batteries Downsizing the storage unit as much as possible because I don't uh, Just in case I can't afford it I don't know we'll get the truck sold and then I should be okay I am just holding off until I'm certain I don't need to use it anymore. I really need to get food and it's never a for sure thing getting rides around here, so uh, Yeah, I have a hard time Selling the truck because it's my only ride but I'm tired of sitting around waiting for payday. I'm tired of being hungry. I need to get the f out of here. So, RV, working on it, finally. Drive shaft is back on, got the parking brake done. That feels so good to get that out of the way. And, uh, and sometime this year, we'll get her finished. We'll start our trip to Montana.